Dear friends, fellow socialists, I'm happy to stand here in front of you and greet you from the Swedish Left Party. We count the Linke as one of our best European friends in the common struggle for social justice and equality. You might have heard about the Swedish welfare state, the Scandinavian equality between men and women, and you might expect a progressive environmental policy from a country like Sweden. I really wish that I could stand here today in front of you and report about progress in all these fields, but I cannot. After six years of right-wing government in Sweden, the country is changing fast and for the worse. We are suffering high unemployment, especially hurting the youth. We have increasing inequalities of income, not because we have been so hit, hit so hard by the economic crisis, but we've been hit hard by right-wing policy. Income disparity between men and women has risen 40%. All ambitious to take the lead in cutting greenhouse gas emissions are given up. Sweden of today is an experiment in neoliberal privatization. Schools, preschools, clinics, hospitals, and homes for elderly are sold out to venture capitalists. They only look for maximum profit, the price being paid by school children, the elderly, the staff working, and the taxpayer. In the wake of unemployment and class differences, we now see the rise of the xenophobic right also in our country. We in the left party now prepare ourselves for the elections in 2014 to have a stronger left wing and a progressive majority to overthrow this government. We already governed many cities and regions with the Social Democrats and the Greens, and we are ready to govern also on national level if the policies are progressive enough. Europe urgently needs a stronger left wing. Sorry, France, the most important country in Europe is Germany. Political change here would mean a lot for the whole of Europe. But we need to work together. The right wing have the power and they have failed. The result of their policies is mass unemployment and a European project that saves the banks and the bankers while letting workers and the welfare state pay the entire price for the crisis. They deregulate and force through privatizations but have no strength whatsoever when it comes to the enforce the necessary change to save our climate and our planet. If the climate had been a bank, it would have been saved by now. <laughs> what is the robbing of a bank compared to the founding of a bank, Bertolt Brecht asked. The euro crisis is the crisis of the unregulated financial capitalism. The solution, solution is not to save the banks with taxpayers' money, but to let them pay for their own mistakes. <laughs> if they want our money, we want to decide over them to nationalize the financial institutions. We also need to strictly regulate the whole financial system. The market and the bankers should not decide over governments. It should be the other way around. <clears throat> Dear friends, in September 2003, Sweden held a referendum about joining the euro. We campaigned furiously for the no vote. Despite having the whole economical and political elite as opponents, we won, and we saved Sweden from the euro. <laughs> we argued that the euro would mean less democracy, more right-wing economic policies, 
and more power to the bureaucrats in Brussels. We argued that the single currency could have disastrous economic consequences and effects when enforced on countries that have very different economic needs. And we are sorry to be right and to see the dire economic consequences in countries like Greece and Spain. Today, more Swedes believe in UFOs than in joining the Euro. But, uh, friends, as socialists, as internationalists, we must also point at common solutions. There must be a way for countries also to leave the Euro. Debts should be written off for heavily indebted countries. The financial sector should be strictly regulated. We need to stop tax evasion and to tax the rich. The power should be taken from the European Commission and IMF and given to democratic bodies. We need to increase equality. We need social investment and we need green investment for the future and for our climate. We need to do this together and we look forward to do it together with you. Thank you. <laughs>